I have over 100 real hats. But what we're here tonight for, yeah, I went on vacation. Yeah, you see my Bahama shirt? Yeah, I went on vacation. Time, let's, let's see some slides, Ray. Let's see some slides. Are you ready? Let's have another one. Stepping forward. Yeah, I went to Nassau, Bahamas. Nassau, Bahamas. Yeah, it's a great place to be. Toastmasters Convention. So those here with Toastmasters have a clue. 2023. Yeah, there's my sweetheart, my girlfriend. She was always out there trying to get drinks from the pirates around there. Standing next to this statue, and it's because it's cool. Beautiful blue skies. It was awesome. Just all things engaged. They had pink flamingos. This was in Nassau at Bahama. I can never say it right, but Bahama or something or another. High end resort. And uh, 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 I don't mess with my remote control, man. No, nope, most of my. Hey, slap him. Slap him. There we go. Thank you. Now, there we are. Messes with timing in the back of the room. See, this place was beautiful. Beautiful pond, beautiful water fountain. And if you look a little bit farther down there, you can see where we'd sit by the bar and have our 60 friggin' dollar hamburger. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they had some prices. But the convention was awesome. Hey, keep on going. The convention was awesome. For those who don't know about it, Toastmasters have this amazing contest. Rich is over here salivating. These three young ladies were first, second, and third of the world champion of public speaking for Toastmasters 2023. They bracketed all the way up from club level right here. This is the second time in history Rich can correct me if I'm just a little bit off, that the top three were all ladies. No men involved. And I admit, I ranked them. I had them pretty high up there. I had one guy I thought was going to be a little higher because he hit me better. But as vacations go, Kevin, that first day, something happened. As you can see here, my sweetie's standing little forlorn. I'm also standing a little forlorn looking down. And Kevin, do you see what's above her head? Yes, that little sign that says police. And this is the person who changed that night. Inspector Leonardo Burroughs of the Royal Bahamas Police. As you can see, he's, I'll get out of the way. Pretty smart looking guy. In fact, when I got off the airplane in Nassau, walking down to pick up my luggage, he walked right up, up the stairs. He had this little quip, looked like a stick, skinny little baton. Enjoy your vacation and convention. And we're like, yes, sir. I don't know who you are, but yes, sir. <laughs> Kept on walking. Later found out he came down. He was there to pick up another passenger. He knew about us. And Ray, this, I'm going to just read this. This is what was put out August 15, 2023 at 6.34 p.m. An officer of the Royal Bahamas Police Force removed two Americans from the Courtyard Marriott Hotel, delivered them to the police headquarters on East Street. They were released approximately 10.03 p.m. Identified, identified as Mar Jane Taylor of Tallahassee, Florida, and Thomas Hobbs of parts west of the Mississippi River. Well, what really happened, I'm going to get back to it. Leonardo Burroughs invited us to the police station headquarters. It sounded better the way I told it for a Toastmasters and other speakers gathering put on by Mark Brown and Darren LaCroix, and there are over 75 other people in the room learning about having unforgettable presentations. Awesome people. Yeah, that's awesome. The fact that Leonardo had put this together, my finger's running out of ink, there we go, was amazing. You see, Leonardo is a 20-plus year Toastmaster in Nassau, Bahamas. 
This was one of his clubs that he facilitates for his officers. And NASA and Bahamas is actually one of the only countries that is the highest percentage of Toastmasters members per capita. That's like really a lot of friggin' Toastmasters in a really small country. Marty, you like that? I dumbed it down. Is that better? Yeah, I dumbed it down to where we understand what we're talking about. What was really cool, the Prime Minister of Bahamas came and spoke at the convention. Because he was one of the first Toastmasters to start Toastmasters in the Bahamas and kept it going all these times. And Leonardo Burroughs was part of that. 